Hey guys, Thor here, and today I'm joined by Airsplat Paul, Ooh. and we are Milsim players, right? We love Milsim. Do you love Milsim? If you don't love Milsim, you should love Milsim. So what we have here today is a bunch of items that'll allow you to try harder at being a Milsim player. Uh, first up, over in front of Airsplat Paul, we have... This is the Gen 3 style uh, multicam BDU set. Has pants and the combat shirt with the quarter zip collar. And the nice thing about this one is it does have the built-in knee pads and elbow pads, but they are removable if you need to just sort of drop a little bit of extra weight. Like this one right here out. that I already had pulled out on the tan ones. Easily removable. Easily removable. And they actually go in very easily as well. Um, so that's really cool. So if you don't necessarily want to run with knee pads or they get damaged, easier to replace this than your whole pants set. Beyond that, we have this really awesome radio from Emerson. Uh, it has a multitude of channels. You can do all your presets for it. You can do everything you need to run out on the field and have comms with all your guys. Uh, and this one is set up for the Kenwood 2-pin, correct? Yeah. Yes, Kenwood 2-pin. Uh, right now, that's the only way it's available. So if you have a Motorola single pin, or Motorola double pin, not gonna work with this, but I know that you can get adapters to hook on to any other style of pin set to adapt to the Kenwood 2-pin set. And it is compatible with the Code Red Headsets brand. Yes. Of headsets that we have here at airsplat.com as well. Now, when I first got into Milsim, we all had these, well, I didn't, but a lot of guys had these, but they weren't really this. It was a just a BB loader uh, and carrier for extra BBs. You'd throw it on top of your helmet, look cool, but it basically just carried around extra BBs, which was hilarious to me because as you ran through the field, just a bunch of BBs shaking right on top of your head. Really good way to give away your position. This is actually a functioning IR strobe um, for that little bit of added realism so that you can use the strobe and find your teammates, Green Mountain Rangers. Um, <laughs> heck, you know, if you run around with your night vision down during the daytime, whatever, that's up to you. But this strobe actually functions. You can use it, you can designate marking your teammates, different positions if you need to, where you're at, buildings you've covered, anything like that, just like the real military does. Another thing we have that's good for marking and stuff is a battery powered uh, chem light. So just a battery powered light. You can't really see it in this light because it's so bright, but it does light up in a greenish color. Really easy to turn on and off, just to twist off, twist back on, twist it all the way off to change out the batteries or remove the batteries. Um, again, good for marking yourself, good for marking objectives, um, anything like that that you would normally use in a, a real chem light for in a milsim game. So, and it's reusable, so unlike the ones that say they last for 12 hours, it only yeah. lasts for like two, this will last as long as the batteries do. And it takes just standard AA batteries, so you can buy those anywhere. And this takes, Double A's as well. Double A's as well, yes. So, uh, very easy to do. You don't have to worry about getting a specific style of battery. Uh, one last item we have here today, uh, we have the LED light set up uh, for the side of your Ops Core, Fast Helmet, Emerson Helmet, anything, anything like that. Rail. Yeah, anything with the arc rails, Mitch, Mitch 2000s <laughs> with the arch rail. So it is an LED light. Um, it is adjustable, I believe you can turn it. Yep, there you go, just like that. You can adjust it to read maps, anything like that. It has three bulbs in it, it's gonna be very bright. And of course you can take the arm and adjust it like that. Tell us a little bit more about that lovely piece of equipment. So this is your standard MPLS three style light. It has your push button operation on the side there. As Thor mentioned, you can fully rotate this and put it in any position you need to. It has uh, two brightness settings for the white light, as well as a green light and an IR, which is all activated by various button commands. It comes with a clip mount, a rail mount, your helmet mount, as well as uh, two CR2016 batteries that are required for operation. So batteries are included. Yep. Always a great thing. That is a little bit more specialized and that won't be at your corner gas station. So uh, the BDUs, the Gen 3 style BDUs, we have in black, we have multicam, we have in tan. Um, we're getting more. Yeah, there's a few other camo yeah, patterns out there. Yeah, we'll be getting digital. more in. I, I think we saw some AOR1 yeah. and ATAX. Yeah, ATAX. So you'll have a lot of different options for whatever setup you decide to run in your Milsim game. 
Um, but yeah, so just a lot of different things that can make your Milsim game more realistic and just more fun because when you have comms and you can talk to the rest of your team, you can make it a little more realistic and you can actually get the objectives done and, and have fun playing the game. Um, when you have stuff where you can mark objectives and things like that, lights so you can see in, at night games. And nice uh, sets of BDUs with knee pads and elbow pads so you don't wreck your knees, uh, you know, diving to the ground prone. Why not? You can do in airsoft what you wouldn't do in the real world because it looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> so get out there if you enjoy Milsim. If you don't really play Milsim, I definitely recommend trying it out. There's a lot of big ops that happen all the time that you can be a part of, and it's just huge ground wars. The next one we're going to is uh, Lion Claws 13, and it's basically going to be about 600 people, about 300 versus 300. So that's a very big ground war. Uh, target rich environment, as I would say. <laughs> and remember, if you don't have all this stuff, you're not trying hard enough. Until next time, this has been Slap Paul and Thor. Take care, guys.